The government halted the importation of Mitumba Ali this year as part of measures to contain the spread of COVID-19. Second-hand traders across the country can now breathe a sigh of relief as new guiding principles come into play. All used taxile and shoes intended for importation into the country shall be subjected to physical examination and certification and a pre-export verification of conformity to standards. Suppliers of Mitumba shall be required to alert service providers on the intention to import and shall depart all orders through designated port of entry, including the Kilidini port and the inlet container depot Nairobi. Each bale of taxile is expected to contain a single category of government and shall be labeled by mass category, name of supplier, country of origin and the address of the importer. The consignment of supply shall be limited in line with existing standards which bar the importation of second-hand nightwear, hospital wear, undergarments and bath towels. Mitumba wholesalers are expected to adhere to COVID-19 protocols by the Ministry of Health including the fumigation of stalls, the maintenance of inventory, provision of hard washing stations and the wearing of masks. Retailers of Mitumba are expected to obtain business licenses specific to their area of operation and observe general measures including hand washing and the wearing of masks. Further, buyers are required to purchase Mitumba from licensed business premises alone and obtain physical and mobile phone details of the seller along the adherence of the general guidelines by the Ministry of Health. The new guidelines come on the backdrop of widespread protests by the Mitumba dealers who lamented the continued loss of jobs for the key sector employing more than 200,000 Kenyans. According to the Mitumba Association of Kenya, over 5,000 jobs have already been wiped out from the sector. Reporting for Ibru TV, I'm Dolly Mirigi.